Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, 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 external. Testing, testing, internal. Testing, 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 external. Testing, testing, internal. Hello YouTube, Al here, and this week I'm going to show you how to plug in an SM57 or similar into an iPad or iPhone. Pete Johns has done a fantastic video on this. It's audio production where you use an app like GarageBand or Cubase or an audio recording app. Here I am purely using a Toman uh, microphone that's similar to an SM57 by Shure Microphones. So it's an XLR cable and it's plugged in to the cable which is plugged in to the first input of my KA6 by Native Instruments. That is plugged into my powered, it's important that it's powered, USB hub. The powered USB hub is plugged in there. Your iPhone or iPad is plugged in here and the charging port is plugged in there. I have just noticed recording this video that I get some sort of uh, robotic uh, sort of distortion on my voice with the camera app if I don't close and reopen it and lock and unlock my phone. So you may have to do that just to make sure that it rejigs itself. Just take a couple of seconds video, say testing, testing, just to make sure you don't sound like a fucking Dalek. Um, just to make sure that the, the phone sort of caught up with what hardware you're using or not using. This adapter, so we've got a lightning male end, then you have a USB and a lightning female end. I didn't need to download any external software or apps for this. I didn't need to set anything up. When you're using audio software like GarageBand or Cubasis, you need to select the input to make sure you've got the right input coming through from your interface. It'll ask you what device to use. It may ask you the input, something like that. You need to go through the rigmarole. But with a camera, it absolutely defaults to this microphone straight away. There's no effing and jeffing. There's no screwing about. If you want to monitor how loud your input is, you can't do that by listening through some external speakers or something like that but you can see on the interface and check that you're not clipping. But unfortunately, there's no way to check what it would sound like until you hear it back. So I just did a quick test and it does all work and that's why I'm now recording this video. So this is how you plug an external microphone into your iPhone or iPad and you can record audio with it whilst recording video, which is fantastic, fantastic. I mean, I'm now, I can now put this in front of my amplifier and with this in front of my amplifier, I can make better quality YouTube videos. I can just hit record, off I go. Not clipping, cracking. And for the speaking sections of videos, I can check my inputs again for my voice and do the same. So there you have it. That is how you plug in an XLR microphone into an iPhone or iPad. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I don't think I'm really doubling up on what other people have done because they specifically were doing it for audio production in iPads using third-party software, whereas I'm only using the camera app on my iPhone 12. And it defaults straight away, and I think the audio sounds pretty good. So I'll do one more test. Why not? So this is me talking into the SM57 copy. And this is the inbuilt microphone into the iPhone 12. I hope it's been helpful. Remember that you can change the volume of these tracks in iMovie later, you can manually turn it up. Obviously that will raise any background noise as well, but I find these things tend to be pretty low noise anyway. <laughs> So we're back to the iPhone mic again in the same place. So here's the amplifier, JCM600, and here's the SM57 copy in front of the amplifier.
that's plugged into full of cable, blah, blah, blah. That's plugged into the Focusrite iDock. I've decided to use this because it's powered on its own. You've got a power cable that goes straight into it. So there's no need for a powered USB hub. And you just plug this straight in. I'm using an extension cable so I can monitor the gain on the input. I'm plugged into input two. So if I use an extension cable, I can see that and I can set up the camera and get the best angle as well. Now for that last part, it did take a couple of tries for me to get the take. I had to keep checking the audio because again, it was coming out quite Dalek-y and garbled. For some reason, it just wasn't understanding what it was meant to use. So even though it was using the internal mic, it was clipping like a bastard. You do have to stop and start and check, always check. To make sure you're recording otherwise it's all going to come out like that the video i did last week with my zoom iq6 the little lightning adapter microphone that was very good at rejecting sound on the side and when i turned up the volume on the microphone i didn't get any background noise or or hiss in the background so i really think this is a viable option for someone trying to make high quality video and audio on their phone i hope this has helped give me a like or subscribe if you feel like it up to you Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Until then, bye-bye.